Hey everyone, it's Joshua, and today I uh, will be watching episode 1 of season 2 of Shangri-La Frontier. I will not be showing the episode on screen because of copyright, but you can sync the episode up with the timer at the bottom right corner of the video. And my episode will not have any logos at the start, it'll just go right into it. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, Ray. Aww. Well, he realized it isn't a fictional world. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. We're seeing everyone beginning like Katsu, Toa. His name's K, right? Omi K, I think. Right. Oh, Katsu. I think so. <laughs> yep. Shangri-La Frontier. <sighs> opening. Lisa opening, by the way. <laughs> oh, b <-lock. laughs> I think I'm seeing some new characters there. Either that or they didn't appear that much in the first season if they were there at least. Or my memory is just that bad. <laughs> That's always a possibility. Yeah, good opening. Oh, Weathermon. All right. Starting with that. Weathermon the Tomb Guard. Uh huh. So glad this show is back. For another 25 episodes. Would you like to know the truth of this world, son? <laughs> oh, yeah. Turn B lock into an ancient craftsman. Aw. Come on, B lock. <laughs> B nature. Oh, B lock is one of my favorite characters in this show now. <laughs> Half naked Birdman and the gang in Gollum Paradise. All right. Yep, that outfit. I'm old. Ah, everything okay there? <laughs> Oh, all right. Be <laughs> oh, that's what was going on in there. Okay, right. I for, I for yeah, that guy was there too. Okay, I was wondering why I thought why it seemed like Belux was freaking out. That's why. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
<laughs> Yay. Cute animal. <laughs> Yeah. Were they fighting something? Hmm. Yeah, Bahamut. Right, the professor. Will you join us in exploring the truth of this world? Truth is the animatic sugar love frontier delight, yeah. Right about one thing. Really specific and hard to unravel. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like a gun. There we go. Yep. Pencil gone. Uh -huh. <laughs> His character is so cute. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. But it is such a cute design. <laughs> the voice. The <laughs> In the inventory, as quick as I can. All right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Right. Yeah, he's not. He's definitely a smart guy, I'm sure. <laughs> What do you got? Are you okay? What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> um, what was that? Oh, we're being attacked. I see. Sounds about right. The golems from the divinity, right? Okay. Hmm. Oh. All right. So, primal slash, all right. Yeah, Aramis. <sighs> e um, I hope not.
right? Gosh, this guy. You deserve that. Okay. Um, should we be worried about that? Uh, is it about to explode or something? Whew. All right. That would have definitely taken him out. All right. What? Oh. There's a lot of them, huh? Okay. So I gotta take down the big one there to deal with this, right? Or it'll just keep dropping more of those little guys here. This is a problem. There's so many of them. Although I swear that first explosion we saw looked a lot bigger than those other ones after it. <laughs> For the very first one. They grabbed onto Sinraku's leg. Oh, Emu. <gasps> no! Nice. Yeah, why are there so many? Uh... But why? Okay, well this might work out for you then. Yeah. You shouldn't be overlooking these two. <laughs> oh. It can move. <laughs> yeah. My lady sister. <laughs> Alright. Let's, yeah, let's do this. Flame General's Decapitator. Alright. Glowing Pierce. There it is. Yeah, smash it. There we go. Material destroy. Yeah. 
Is it about to explode? Jeez. <laughs> I had a feeling it might when they defeated it, so that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I had a feeling too. But I was hoping that it wouldn't be true. <laughs> What are they? Blasting Earth Idol. Oh. Smuscular replica sometimes produced from a naturally spawning golem, produced by cannonball golems, unleashes a minor explosion in response to a strong impact. All right. Yeah, I already finished reading that, Sinraku. You're slow. No, there's more that wasn't... <laughs> yeah, basically a grenade. All right. Nice. They're doing pretty well. What is that? Sword denying idol. Draws attention from strongly from certain monsters. Okay. What do you think you're doing, Aramis? Maybe you shouldn't just grab her like that. Sounds a little like be lucky. <laughs> One blade mercy. Right, okay. Yeah. Hmm. I hope so. Something like that. Yeah. More like a factory. Hmm. Yeah, it's all rubble. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, who's watching? Okay. Yeah. I caught so. Pencil gone. A little peeking. Oh no. Oh no. Really, you two? <laughs> I 
Anyway, what is this ending? This looks cool. Like those outfits. You got the professor too. <laughs> So cute. And I do love how Sunraku didn't have like a suit or anything on there. Because <laughs> obviously he can't wear any other clothes there, you know, with the curse. <laughs> And we're sticking with these. Good. I was hoping so. Fortune Teller Rock Roll. Alright. I was hoping we'd have these. Alright. What? Is this the game shop? <laughs> what the heck? Why? Package what from an did I say from an Otome game or something? You know, Mana Hobby Otome games. Didn't you already know that? You already know all this. <laughs> Dude, that's the end for the special edition it came with. Oh, wow. Okay. Which opinions of whether it's a good or trash game are passionately split? Okay. Well, don't hide from him. Uh, uh. Oh, Ray. Just talk to him. Oh. I knew I'd saw at least two. Uh-huh. One to Sunraku here. Rakuro. And the other to Ray, right? <laughs> oh, 10% off. Online mode. <laughs> yeah, she knew she'd be able to sell it to these two. Because once Rakuro bought it, Ray would obviously buy it. <laughs> <sighs> so happy this show is back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is a great start to the season. Um, I'm kind of worried for Sonoraku's safety with Oikatsu and Pencil gone after him, but I I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> but yeah, that was episode one of season two of Shangri-La Frontier. I hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.